Christi Church website. Uh, so tell your friends, if they miss today, they can still see it, not in person, but it, it'll still be good. A lot of you are new to our series and to this venue. So just a very brief introduction. There are, for our purposes today, excuse me, could we? Thanks. There are three entities that, for you to know about. First is the obvious, Corpus Christi Church, a parish in the Archdiocese of Miami. Whose pastor is Father Jose Luis Menendez, who was standing right here and is now there. Uh, Father is the one who brought the series here and who is the spirit behind the second entity, the Colonial Florida Cultural Heritage Center, which is, just as it names, implies, an organization under the Archdiocese of Miami, but about as independent as you can be, that, still under the Archdiocese, uh, with some absolutely marvelous collections, one of which is one of the largest collections of Spanish colonial art in the United States. It's housed in large part in the Peruvian style chapel that's just south of us. It will be open after the concert for you to take a look at the carvings, the 23 and a half carat gold gilt on it. It's Baroque. It is so Baroque. And it's just really a treat. So if you have not been in it, uh, please go over, see Carol Damien, the curator, Ray Zamora, uh, the project director, and uh, enjoy yourself for a few minutes. Finally, the third entity relevant today is Martha and Mary Concerts, a completely separate entity, but founded by Father Federico Captapone, whom you'll meet in just a moment, uh, 18 years ago. And we have had, a, somehow, it makes you believe in miracles, a concert series for 18 years, run and staffed entirely by volunteers. We even made it through the pandemic. Uh, and all the while we're trying to bring, with the help of Paul Posnack, our founding artistic director, world-class music, where in non-COVID times, the popcorn is free. We have receptions afterwards, and we'll get back to them before too long. Some people, when they were calling for this concert, were asking if they were going to have to listen to a sermon. I'm not a sermon. And you will not have anything strictly religious today or ever with us because we are determinedly not religious, but inevitably spiritual as truly beautiful music always is. Our goal is to bring people together speaking the universal language of music. I'd just like to briefly recognize a couple of people who are among those who help us to do this. We have some visiting clergy today from the Miami Shores Congregational Church and the Congregational Minister, Reverend Priscilla Whitehead. Priscilla, I know you're right there. Could you just stand up for a second? Don't be shy. Thank you. Priscilla has been with us for years and is symbolic of our attempts and, and goals to bring everyone together. Joining us today also are volunteer students from Lourdes Academy who greeted you when you walked in. Uh, on your programs, you see an artwork, uh, which is part of our Art in the Schools program. We always have a student's work on the cover, and those students receive a nice gift from Mike McDermott, who is the person who greeted you at the door, and as Mike in. I think he's still out with the door, uh, but we thank him greatly. And finally, a whole group of fan members are here today. For those of you who don't know, Funding Arts Network has been in existence for 25 years supporting the arts, and a few years ago they began to support us 
uh, and we are eternally grateful. And this year, we were one of six recipients of a 25th anniversary award program, and we have been granted an AWARE grant through which we will expand what we are doing for the next two years by having outdoor concerts, similar to, if for those of you who were here, the Emmett Cohen concert out on the grass in, on the steps of the Colonial Church. And Emmett gave me permission, we don't have it signed yet, but it looks like our first of that series is going to be on Memorial Day this year. So keep us in mind, keep looking at our website uh, and follow us. You can also get on our mailing list through the website and you'll be on for both mailing and emails, which, or whichever you prefer. Finally, after you fall in love with our artists today, you may want some of their CDs. And they are indeed for sale for the bargain price of $10 outside as you leave. And the three artists will be there to autograph them if you would like that. And now, just for a brief welcome from the clergy, Father Federico Captapone, who founded our series 18 years ago over in Miami Shores and brought us here. Thank you, Father. Uh, he's going to say a few words of welcome to you. Thanks. And good afternoon, everyone. And welcome to this concert. Um, I'm so glad that our pandemic is almost, almost, almost over. <laughs> and I hope the next time that we see each other, we can see our faces and our smiles. I hope you are smiling. Are you? Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. We pray that this is going to be over very soon. In the meantime, we need, we try to keep social distance and wearing our masks. Hopefully next time it will know necessary to do this. Uh, thank you. Thank you for supporting for 80 years, supporting here in San Martha and Barry University in other places. It's always a pleasure to have music and to have culture celebrated in a place like this one, a church like this one. For the Menendez, just right here, please come forward. For the Menendez, our pastor, open up uh, his doors so that we can have these concerts over here. And I would want to say thank you, Father Menendez, for supporting us all the, all the way and opening uh, the church to these concerts. And yeah, come on. Yes. Thank, you. thank you to the Williamsons and all, all the volunteers that uh, without them is impossible to organize a concert like this one. Uh, Julie, Bob, thank you very much. And uh, thank you also to Paul Posnack, our director, artistic director, that is right here. Please, thank you, Paul. After what Father Federico has said, the only thing that I have to say is the bathrooms are in that side over there. If you need it, through there. It's in the back, okay, in order that you feel. Welcome to Corpus Christi. I hope that you enjoy it. You know, music is a wonderful spiritual language. Let's enjoy it. God bless you. And with you, uh, Paul. Paul, Paul Pasnak, please, our director. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, my wife, Anita Casillon, my wife and piano partner, uh, came home uh, with, with, brimming with enthusiasm, heard a wonderful jazz singer on the radio, and accompanied by an equally wonderful jazz pianist. And she tried to get the names of each of them, not realizing until after the uh, song was over that it's the one and the same person, Dina DeRose. And I listened also to some of her recordings. And uh, we looked at each other and said, we've got to get this woman here <laughs> to our series. And here she is with two uh, wonderful drummer and, and bassist. 
She was scheduled uh, even by the age of 20, 21. She was already playing professionally and en route to a fabulous career as a jazz pianist until uh, she developed something that was analyzed as carpal tunnel syndrome and arthritis. And uh, two years, it took two years and several surgeries for her to be, it, it, begin to play the piano once again. But in the process, um, going to jazz clubs and so on, she was invited to join in and sing, and it turns out that she had um, a, not entirely undiscovered, but certainly not promoted, uh, uh, extraordinary talent as a jazz singer, as a, as a, as a style, jazz stylist in that. Uh, and uh, one thing led to another, and she has joined this very exclusive club of, of artists who are equally, equally great artists as singers and pianists. There have been, there's a, 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 a very unique group of these people, Fats Waller, um, Ray Charles, the great, great uh, Nat King Cole, uh, Bobby Short, but uh, these days, uh, uh, Shirley Horn um, is, is an, in a sense, Dina's predecessor. And Diana Krall does this too, but very few people uh, do it like Dina DeRose. It's uh, extraordinary, and she is not only sought after, of course, as an artist and with her wonderful trio, but also as a jazz educator and mentor. Uh, she is, uh, uh, has important positions in Europe, and we were very lucky to be able to bring her here. So here is Dina DeRose and her trio. Just found out about love and I like it. I like what love has been doing to me. I'll hold you close in my arms and I like it. Yeah, I like it. Oh, what a wonderful future I see. It's a one time. Lifetime deal I know it's real I can tell by the way That I feel Right now I'm living it up And I like it Yeah, I like it Hey, you Give me a clue What's love doing to you Looks like you could be liking it too
one time only lifetime deal I know it's real I can tell by the way that I feel right now I'm living it up and I like it I like it hey you give me a clue what's love doing to you looks like you could be liking it too Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. It's wonderful to be here playing for all of you. We were supposed to be here before COVID, <laughs> but now we're able to be here. And thanks so much for coming out on Super Bowl Sunday. So um, we are going to do one long set and get you guys out of here so you can go see the Super Bowl. <laughs> um, <laughs> We started out with something I recorded some years back. It was a, a tribute to the late, great Shirley Horn, also a singer and pianist. We're going to continue with something off our newest record. And this one is a song by the great Bob Dorrell. And he's also a pianist and a singer. He just passed, I think, what, last year, I think? Here is. Uh, one of uh, many of the songs today are going to be about love. We're right here, to, you know, Valentine's Day. And, and Bob Doro calls this song an extravagant love song. Here is his biggest hit, Nothing Like You. One, two, uh, uh, uh. Nothing like you has ever been seen before. Nothing like you existed in days of yore. Never were lips so kissable, never were eyes so bright. I can't believe it's possible you bring me such delight. Nothing can match the rapture of your embrace. Nothing can catch the magic that's in your face. You're like a dream come true. Something completely new Nothing like you has ever been seen before Nothing like you, nothing like you has ever been mine before Kisses I've known but none so divine before No one has your magnificence who can describe your charms I'd like to make my residence forever in your arms life could be no one but you could ever do this to me call me a fool in love one thing I'm certain of nothing like you has ever been seen before nothing like you nothing like you nothing like you has ever been seen
Nothing like you has ever been mine before yeah. Kisses I've known But none so divine before No one has your magnificence Who can describe your charms I'd like to make my residence Forever in your arms I never knew How wonderful life could be No one but you could ever do this to me Call me a fool in love One thing I'm certain of Nothing like you has ever been seen before Nothing like you Nothing like you Nothing like you has ever been seen Nothing like you has ever been seen Nothing like you has ever been seen Martin Wind on the bass, Mr. Martin Wind. And at the drums, Matt Wilson. Trust the stars when you're about to fall in love Look for hidden signs or you'll begin to sigh Never trust the moon when you're about to taste her kiss She knows all the lines and she knows how to lie Just wait for a night When the skies are all bare And see if you care Never trust your dreams When you're about to fall in love Or your dreams will quickly fall apart So if you're smart, really smart, only trust your heart.
just wait for a night when the skies are all bare and see if you care never trust your dreams when you're about to fall in love or your dreams will quickly fall apart so if you're smart really really smart only trust your heart only trust your my name softly in my ear you breathe a flame lover when we're dancing keep on glancing in my eye till love's own entrancing music dies all of my futures in you for every plan I design Promise you'll always continue to be mine Lover, please be tender Cause when your tender fears depart Lover, I surrender to Thank you. 
So, as you can see, many love songs. There are many out there. Um, next one's a new one for us because it is new. It's one of my compositions with a poem by the late, great Langston Hughes. And he calls it, Hold Fast to Dreams. Feature the arc, oh yeah. Yeah, go for it. I'll set you up though. Or you want to do it. Thank you. 
die Life is a broken winged bird That cannot fly Hold fast to dreams For if dreams go Life is a barren field frozen with snow.
broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams go. Barren field frozen with snow. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. <clears throat> Now, uh, I, I did get an email from a young gentleman who had a bit of a request since he and his girlfriend are celebrating their first Valentine's together. And they seem like they're very much in love. Okay, over here. So um, here is a beautiful song. Their, their favorite version. I hope I can do it as good as Chet Baker. But anyhow, <laughs> they listen to that version quite a lot. So we're going to do our own little version here of There Will Never Be Another You. Really, we're just as though off the cuff here. <laughs> like this and I'll be standing here with someone new there will be other songs to sing another fall another spring but there will never be another you They won't thrill me like yours used to do. Yes, I may dream a million dreams, but how can they come true if there will never, ever be another?
many other nights like this And I'll be standing here with someone new There will be other songs to sing Another fall, another spring be another you there will be many lips that I may kiss but they won't thrill me like yours used to do yes I may dream a million dreams but how can they come true if there will never ever be There will never ever be There will never ever be another You Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Here's another original tune for you, um, inspired by a great pianist. I was, as you heard uh, before, that I started out as a pianist, and then the singing came after. And this other great pianist who was very inspiring, of course, I listened, of course, to all the greats, Errol Gardner, uh, Red Garland, Bobby Timmons, Bill Evans, all those really wonderful pianists that I learned so much from. Um, and one of them, there weren't many women that I listened to, but then I found one. <laughs> and she was uh, the pianist in a band. It wasn't really straight ahead jazz. It was more fusion. And the band was called Steps Ahead. One of my favorite bands in the 80s. I remember listening so much. And Iliani Elias. I'm sure you know that name, yeah. She was a big inspiration for me, and I think I even did my very first like transcription, tried to figure out what she was doing, or I had to try to write it down. And this particular song that I listened to it was called At First Sight, and I loved it. I played it thousands of times. <laughs> and I thought, you know, 20 some years passed, and I started getting into writing myself, and, and I thought, you know, I love so much about this particular, her song, At First Sight. I liked the introduction, I liked the groove, and I liked how she just would switch to a totally different harmony in the middle somewhere and not set it up, you know. So I liked a lot of things, a very melodic melody to it, and so I wrote a song based sort of on those ideas called that second look. So, yeah, here it is. Sitting next to her All at once my heart started fluttering Couldn't stop the thoughts arising Had to take a second look Then suddenly You sat next to me Once again my heart started fluttering now I know it was that second love that night. <laughs> Thank you. 
sitting next to her All at once my heart started fluttering Couldn't stop the thoughts arising Had to take a second look then suddenly You sat next to me Once again my heart started fluttering Now I know It was that second look that night, that night, yeah, was that Wilson on the drums over there, putting that groove down. <laughs> How are we doing? All good? There are a lot of different kinds of love, and this next song reflects on friendship and the love of a great friend. And uh, the song was composed by Duke Ellington, Billy Strayhorn, mainly Billy Strayhorn, but uh, Duke Ellington recorded a piano version of this back in the late 40s, early 50s. There was a, a church in New York. I, I, maybe they still have concerts? Yep. St. Peter's Church. He's very famous for having jazz concerts, yeah. And for many years, there was a man named Edmund Anderson, and he was the main pastor there. And he loved jazz, and he was a very good friend of Duke Ellington's. So he put some lyrics to Billy Strayhorn's Lotus Blossom, and um, Edmund just had such high regard for Mr. Ellington. So it's called Thank You for Everything. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for everything. Thanks for the love you bring Right from the start You touched on my heart And 
taught me the song I sing Thanks for your dazzling grace Lighting the darkest place Thanks for the joy The hours of joy That parting cannot erase Late at night when I'm My thoughts go back to you And the many ways you made me smile The good times that we knew Grateful I'll always be Fortune has favored me Somebody cared Your great heart you shared And gave all the world to see So thank you for everything.
Late at night when I'm alone My thoughts go back to you And the many ways you made me smile The good times that we We've really come to the last song. I can't believe it. Is it really that time? Almost. Anyhow, we're going to play this one for a little bit because it's really a great tune. And um, we are very glad that you were all here today. I'm giving away the title, maybe, but Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> It's really great to see you all, because really, I, I thought we were going to have about 10 people. So <laughs> thanks for making it out. And thank you to Anita and Paul for really being the first ones to just ask me to come here with these two guys. And um, it took a little while, but we made it happen. So thank you all. Thanks to all the volunteers. They all help so much put these things together. And to this wonderful church, great, beautiful. Oh, and Julio, by the schoolyard over there. Where is he? <laughs> Our sound man. Let's give it up to the him. Yeah. Julio! Julio. Great. In this world of ordinary people, extraordinary people, I'm glad there is you In this world of overrated pleasures Underrated treasures I'm glad there is you I live to love I love to live with you beside me This role is new but I'll muddle through with you to guide me In this world where many, many play at love And hardly any stay at love I'm glad there is you More than ever Glad there is you
<laughs> of ordinary people, extraordinary people. I'm glad there is you in this world of overrated pleasures, underrated treasures. I'm glad there is you. I live to love, I love to live with you beside me. This role is new, but I'll muddle through with you to guide me. In this world where many, many play love <laughs> Hardly any stay in love So glad there is you I'm so very glad So So very, very, very glad. So glad. So glad. So very, 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 so very, very glad. There is you. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Thank you again. We do have some CDs out here. I'll be out here and enjoy the Super Bowl.